Hey, what are you worried about? <laughs> it's about time for you to go. I got to do another 45 minutes. Let's talk about cruising with the Mustang man himself, <laughs> Joseph Scott. Joseph, did you tell me Mr. Fred Lackey married you and your lovely bride? He sure did. 1995. Uh, married us in the old sanctuary there. The old sanctuary. Old yes. sanctuary. <clears throat> it's good to see him this morning. Oh, he just glad to see you still tucked together. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Y'all ain't done no conscious uncoupling yet. <laughs> no, <laughs> negative. No, uh, he hadn't no. got the tattoo of a foot long sausage. <laughs> no. We don't no. know that. No tattoo. We no. know that. So we don't need to know. <laughs> he may have one tattooed first Monday Scottsboro because he's from Scottsboro. <laughs> that's oh, true. Joseph, well, we're all a cruise in. You know, during the Olympics this year, uh, they have a competition that was called Big Air. You know, where the goal was to see who could fly higher and longer, whether it was on skis or a snowboard. One thing you don't want to do in downtown London is get Big Air. Okay, I don't know if you saw this article. No. Uh, there's actually some YouTube videos out there. This fool had a wreck, went between two cars in a half a million dollar Lamborghini. There he is going airborne. Oh my. Luckily no one was hurt. Just insane. I mean this car, there was a the Mazda was parked and there was a, some kind of other vehicle that was coming out of another side street. He wedges between the two because it was such a sleek car. Uh. Half a million dollars, Jamie. What's in your on that, Tom? Mm -hmm. Hi. A lot. Yeah, it's gonna cost a lot to said. So uh, yeah, what what a fool. I mean, just speeding through the streets of London. Um, Did he have a should good time? know better, but anyway, <laughs> crowded streets. Um, <clears throat> Jamie, a lot of times people are asking me. Don't. What's, what's you, that? I, you say, I ask you, I don't understand you talking about cruising. You just told me in the break there's a difference between cruising and a, and a car show, baby. Yes. I thought yes. it was all cruising. A lot of people ask I me. I know what that. a drive by is. I've had to duck several times. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, really, the difference. Ex wives? Yeah. yeah. That's right. Got to be on the list. They're throwing a sundrop can. <laughs> <laughs> a run by fruity. Uh, the difference between a car show and a cruise in cruise in, you just roll in, park your car, get out, kind of hang out, and talk to people. There's no entry fee. There's no signing up or registering. It's just the old Friday night hangout that you We could add do. that to our church okay. service here during the day. And I can have a cruise in out front, in. chicken fighting in here, and I can church. I can cruise in in my Prius. Love it. You know, yeah. I used to hood. Uh, they cruise in in that Prius yeah. nowhere. What else, Joseph? But, but car shows, you register, you pay a, a, a car you know, fee. Not for uh, it's a lot of times it's for charity. Uh, there's trophies. There's judging. So, you know, a car show is a little bit lose. bigger of a deal. But, uh, yeah, I got several shows to tell you about. This weekend kind of kicks it off. Uh, the car show or cruise in on the square um, is this Saturday from 3 to 8. Is it a cruise in or a car show? It's a cruise in. A cruise in. Cruise in. And the car show is later this month. <clears throat> That's okay. right. Now it's I'm with you. April the 26th okay. is the car show on the square. Now we know. Uh, we've got another car show over at Asbury United Methodist uh, in, uh, off of Hughes Road. Yeah. Uh, I believe that is their first annual, maybe. First annual, it's from 8 to 3. Uh, Hilltopper in uh, Elkmont, downtown Elkmont. Uh, they've got a car show there, That's I a believe. a fundraiser for a political candidate, so don't mention it. Okay, it's at the Piggly Wiggly. <laughs> uh, then also the fourth annual Rogers High School car show is in Green Hill. I believe that's yeah. north of uh, Killen. Yeah. Uh -huh. I believe it is. So uh, so three car shows yeah. this weekend and one cruise in. So uh, definitely if you're in town this weekend, come by the square from 3 to 8, hang out, eat dinner, and just have a good time. I have a question for you. Okay. Are you a man who knows about speed? A little bit. What is the world record for the lawnmower? He just said it. Hmm. World record for lawnmower speed? Yeah. I would guess about 150. Well, you'd be wrong. You would be over the the, the world record Seven. was 90 something. Now it's 116 miles an hour. That's Holy cow! I borrowed just to cut my grass with every other Why? every other yard in my neighborhood. Who would? Wow. Yeah. Who would get a lawnmower that goes that fast? Well, I don't think it. I mean, them blades really got to be cranking it out. You know? <laughs> so do they don't use it for mowing. Well, they don't you don't know that, that Donnie. No, they okay. couldn't. I guess they could mow the track for the the grass track for the horses. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's true. The horse tracks. All right, I got to do this story here about a Catholic priest up in Alaska. Okay. <laughs> Listen to this, Mr. Oh, Lackey. He's been there. Holy smokes, police arrest Catholic priest, 52, drunk driving, spotted him weaving across road, find pistol in his back pocket, and a bag of pot. 
Well, at least there's uh, that Pope Francis. <laughs> yeah, now there he was. He was ready to go. He's getting all his sins in. Yeah, he's getting everything in there. Well, good to go as well. They go to confession just like everybody else. Well, do they? Yeah. They're yeah. They're human, yeah. Well, let's hit the green light this morning. Let's score and pay attention. Uh, I see Mike Davis and Frank Scripture carrying on quite a conversation in here yeah, this morning. They're talking about fishing. Well, let's go over to Zach right now and find out. Zach, who's ailing and who's dying in the limestone county? Well, oh. as first member, Brittany, Progresso.com, let's vote for her. The sick, uh, my mom's still sick. Uh, we got a, a friend. My sick friend, call. Judy Vassar, Patsy Johnson, Joan Stanford, and Edith Davis. Ladies who there, I go to church with her, are my buddy's uh, friend. So anybody wants me to mention anybody sick or ailing, buy my Zach at gmail.com, and I will mention you. Throw some words of wisdom on me, Zach. All right. The most <laughs> wonderful places to be in the world are in someone's thoughts, someone's prayers, and in someone's heart. I mean, every woman. Let me that again. I didn't hear prayers. I, Joseph's heart. distracted. The most wonderful places to be in the world are in someone's thoughts, someone's prayers, and in someone's heart. Oh! Show in the morning time. Right. Okay. That's right. Here you go. Worry less. Did I did? No, I didn't. Ego. Worry less. Smile more. Accept criticism. Take oh, you did this one because I can't accept. I did that one yesterday. Okay, well here, here's another one. Here's another. Here's a Bible verse. You for real. We got Brother Lackey in here. Let me do Bible verse. Psalm 113:2. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. Amen. All right, Zach, where were you 40 years ago when the tornadoes hit today? I was at my grandparents' house in Elk Month. They had just moved to their new house, and it was an old two-story house, and we were scared to death. We had uh, mattresses everywhere. Uh, my uh, uncle's house in Decatur was totally destroyed. I remember we were going to Decatur to check. On them, went through Tanner, around Lawson's trailer court, could not believe what all happened. It's amazing. Every time there's a tornado, usually Lawson's trailer court, that area is always hit in that area. But but it, it was devastating. I was four, uh, four, uh, 11 at the time. So it was just complete devastation. I'll never forget that as long so as I So you're 51 now? 51. So I, four, I was 11 years old when that. Well, I, I was 10. I'm not 51 yet. That's what I thought. So you don't even I'll, know your own age. I'll, I'll be 51 <laughs> in July. So listen, I was 10 years old, but yeah, that was de total devastation. And I remember listening to Mike and Frank and all of them. So you were listening to them on the radio that night? No. I think I probably was. I, I, I think we tried to find a radio. I remember watching H.D. Bagley, you know, the old black and white uh, radar. But I was probably listening to Frank and Mike on the radio and Bill back in the day, too. That was before the Bob Barron days at 30. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Before TV. Yeah, before real TV. Tom uh, Russell, what do you remember about 40 years ago? Did Russell get hit? I know Gillen did. Well, uh, yeah, Gillen is where it got hit the worst. But